know, you can hit those thin. Stuart knows he's made what we call a schoolboy error there. In fact, you're better off missing the red altogether with the first attempt rather than doing that. Put Marco in straight away here. Mid-session interval coming up after this. One. The two reds above the black, if he can, the, the one on the left, would be a good shot to play. That's exactly what he did. Eight. One. I don't know if he's quite got the angle to follow through for the black. I think that's what he's playing because he's getting the cue ball cleaned. So it's quite a delicate follow through shot. Obviously, he doesn't want to get a kick and leave the cue ball where the red is. And in fact, he's playing a screw shot. Nine. He's always going to leave the cue ball a bit further away from the black. Playing with bottom and the, the cue ball instead of the top. He felt he was always going to have a guaranteed pot playing it that way. Yeah, this is a great opportunity now. Made 357 centuries in his career, Marco Fuso. Fantastic break builder. Very heavy scorer when he gets going. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Well, those three reds in a line above the black. If he cannon the middle one of those, he probably won't play the cannon but because there's enough open reds, but that's the shot to play. Yeah, he's played it. A little bit unlucky. He's not got the angle. He may have to play the red up to the green pocket here. 32. Just looking at the gap, but this is a, a tricky little positional shot. If he's playing through the gap, he doesn't want to catch any of the reds because he, he could leave the cue ball nowhere. I think if the red is straight into the green pocket, this is a shot to play. They couldn't place the reds any better, apart from possibly the one that's in the bulk area. opportunity here. 40. I don't think Marco's the kind of player that'll be thinking about 147s yet, but he'll know how well the, red, well the reds are placed. 41. I remember when he made his first, it was in the Scottish Masters way back in 
2000, he made a maximum brake. There was a car for it, and he couldn't drive. <coughs> what a chance, as you said, Stephen. 48. Forty-nine. This red will open up. Fifty-six. Another three into either corner. And he just potted that red in the, the left-hand side of the pocket. That's why he's finished low in the black. He didn't pot that red cleanly. And then you see he just goes off the right-hand jaw. So a little bit trickier to hold the cue ball here. Someone nicely played though. From this red, and the light still. These are missable if you try and hold them without using a cushion. I think he'll stun off the black cushion here. 65. The three reds closest to the pink. Perhaps a cannon in the middle of one of those. Mm, that's worked out well. Perfect. 72. Surely not on the opening day of this year's Masters. Could we possibly see a maximum break? Now, wouldn't that be a story? 73. Eighty. Eighty-one. The first maximum break made at the Masters was an overseas player. The man with the white suit from Canada, Kirk Stevens, made it against Jimmy White. And Marco from Hong Kong is still going along nicely here. Yeah, maybe going up for the red past the blue here because he finished a little bit low in the black and he needs the angle. That looks about perfect. Great shot. He got hold of his head there. He didn't intend to cam in the blue. But he's okay. Nice shot there. Just put the cue ball in anyway with the choice of red to right centre or red to right corner. 97. Again, we'll probably play the cue ball somewhere around where it is now. A choice of red to left centre or right corner. 104. Another fraction that they would have been left with a choice of Either red. He's got to get a little bit of action. As Stuart, now sitting there, he'd love to see 
Marco make a maximum here. Once the frame's over, you're cheering your opponent on. Well, he's played five. this perfectly. One more good positional shot, and the chance is really there. Yeah, I'd love to be straight in this red, just to stun the cue ball. Leave it exactly where the red is, and that looks about perfect. Just leave the cue ball where the red is. So you can Shh, pot the black down, and stun off two cushions for the yellow. Well, Stephen's calling all these shots. He has made the maximum on 11 occasions. And he's played it. Thank you. 130. Exactly as Stephen said. Now he can drop it in or he can use the two cushions. Depends how he feels. He's gone for the two cushions. And he's played it. Perfectly. Well, I tell you what, this crowd is certainly getting excited. 122. I tell you, from 24 points on, it has been absolutely perfect. 125. Well, there's a huge crowd in the Ali Pali tonight. Two more pots. 134. And they'll lift the roof. Break to lead three frames to one.